Here's the uh, smoke fire about a week later. As you guys saw in my torture test video, real work cook number two. I did a uh, crazy 60 to 70 pound cook on this, created a lot of grease and the grease was dripped into the pan, it overflowed the pan. So I'm gonna take a look at it about a week later. I just came back from the Houston Livestock and Rodeo. After cleaning this smoke fire, we're gonna cook a uh, Texas style brisket, Aaron Franklin style using a uh, Creekstone prime brisket. So, so far so good, uh, not so much damage here. I'm gonna clean this up here, wash it out here. Rinse out the uh, grates. Three pieces here. All right, let's remove the teepee. And we can wash it. All right, how does it look? Not too bad. Let's clean up the gunk. So this tool came with a uh, Weber and uh, it's a little plastic scraper. It's gonna clean up the mess here. So the pre temperature probe is right here. So you wanna try not to damage the temperature probe. Make sure it's clean. Little, little spatula action going on here, digging up all the gunk. Okay, it looks pretty clean. Clean out the gunk here. All right, it took about six to eight minutes to clean this up. The Weber tool is pretty handy, but I think that uh, using a uh, silicone spatula is just as effective. The tool cannot get in the crevices. Uh, with a silicone spatula, I can kind of get into the crevices like so. Much makes it much easier to clean. So that uh, tool is good for scra scraping the tough spots, but once you get it loosened up, you want to slide everything in using a uh, regular spatula is a lot easier. So Alright, it's pretty good. Let's use uh, some some uh, paper towels now. Super greasy because of my cook with uh, so many 65 pounds of really fatty meat uncovered. So I've got extra ordinarily amount of grease here. Cleaning up the uh, grate here. Alright, we're using a little bit of a disinfecting wipes here. Clean some of the grease here. I guess one of the things about porcelain enamel is that it gets really dirty because it's shine you can see everything right through the shiny parts of the porcelain coated enamel. My Weber Smoky Mountains over here have been running for 10 years and I'm just amazed that in 10 years of being beat up use it's still solid look at that that's the bullet hole I received but you can see the porcelain coated enamel is the same uh, material here on the smoke fire I expect this the finish should last a long long time Is good enough, I think it's pretty good. All right, check the hopper. My 
Go down the outside. So it's clean enough, let's go clean the grates. Let's use some of this, make it easier. you finish cleaning it's always a good idea to not ruin your disposal uh, get rid of the tank here trash the smoke fire grates are clean now flavorizer bars is clean the tp is clean grates are clean and uh the inside is clean so um I will tell you guys um, as I assemble this back is this is the last time I'm going to cook low and slow for you guys for 12 hours with 65 pounds of meat because it was a cleanup that took 25 minutes of my life so we're not gonna do it again guys uh, next time I, when I cook this we're gonna do something a little bit better for low and slow when we cook so, so much grease and number one I'm gonna wrap the meat number two I'm gonna put a drip pan because uh, I do not want to go through this again you know I do it for the love of you guys who are watching my channel and uh, that was like 20 minutes of my life trying to get this thing off here all the grease and all the gunk so we're gonna be smart because you know me right I'm a very uh, cost efficient and process efficient cook I'm cheap and lazy when you put back the fire uh, pot cover like so right uh, there is a little bit of play on the left and right hand side. So you, you actually just a little bit of play So if I put it down, you see what I mean here. You can go on this side. I can go on this side, right? So there's a little bit of clearance on this side. So I'm gonna push the uh, Cover to the fire pot a little bit to the right as much as I can Because I notice the fire tends to kind of come out a little bit more on the right hand side So this will compensate a little bit for that flame so if you can see here right let me see if i can show you this one here so you can see the, the clearance on the left side there's no clearance right here on the right hand side i leave about one centimeter or half inch gap uh, maybe about a quarter inch gap a little bit on this side so what i want to try to do is minimize the less of the flame shooting out on the right hand side of the fire pot uh, i'm not sure why is it but you know i prefer a completely even flame when i was doing it it looked like it was kind of ten tending to blow the flame to the right so i'm going to compensate by moving a little bit so this there's no gap here there's a little bit of a maybe a quarter to half inch gap on the right hand side so that's my little mod to see it will cook a little bit uh, better without causing any kind of flames on the right hand side uh, it cooks pretty evenly all over well you guys you saw my pancake uh frozen pancake test it passed because the the temperature was very even and uh, I didn't have any problem at all whatsoever. The um, only time I noticed that the temperature was uneven is when you're ramping up the temp. So as you ramp up the temp, uh, if you can, don't put your meat on it. If you're cooking chicken wings or anything that is burns easily, a brisket probably wouldn't matter during the ramp up, but uh, chicken wings, it'll burn. So my, top, my uh, tip to you 
is go ahead and make sure that you reach the temperature you want. It doesn't matter if you use want to cook at 275, 300, 325, 375, 400, 425. Wait until the uh, smoke fire is up to 10 before you start to put your uh, meat on. That way, uh, the easily burnt meat like when you're grilling, best to wait till it reaches temp before you put it on. All right, I'm gonna put the grate on now. All right, it's heating up to 100 degrees now, uh, and I just realized that I forgot to clean the uh, grease tray here. Me bad. So let me go clean it quickly, quickly before I lose all that heat here. I'm not gonna spend another 25 minutes of my life cleaning this thing so we're gonna try to cook it on the top grate now and uh, see if I can get good results here that way that way it drips and uh, I don't have to clean it up because uh, it's just a little bit too much work and I uh, you know me I'm too lazy to do that <laughs> <laughs> 